going on folks it's your man overtime out here with you again uh today I'm just gonna do a little a little video somebody actually hit me up on my instagram no sit and said uh they would like me no sit sit stay stay ask me to do a, a couple more training videos for my dog and under my hand stop sit stay stay and um so this is what this is gonna be it's gonna, this one's gonna be more me shed trainer still. I'm pretty got her. No, no, get up here. Stay, stay. Some of the stuff like this I'm still working on, but I ain't got that down yet completely to be doing on camera. But the things I got her really good at is shed training, uh, tracking the blood, stop, and under my hands. And uh, she's been pent up all day, so it's her first time getting out, so she wanna play. But shed training, game, wounded game tracking, no, set, set, stay, stay. And right now, even making this video, this right here is all part of working at. Stay, stay. All right, but um, so yeah, you guys can just watch me work with her on the shed training and things here. So I'm gonna show you what I got here first. Here I have two tennis balls. One different cousin. All this stuff I got right here, this ain't nothing that I learned, nothing I figured out. This is all stuff I learned from Jeremy Moore from Dog Bone Hunter. Uh, you can check him out, his site. He got videos and everything, instructional videos on how to train. But um, so what I got here first is two tennis balls, one orange, one green. The green one is for the grass. The grass is a green color to make it blend in. And the orange also we go out in the woods, which is why it's more dirty and look the way it is now. Uh, what I do with that is I take this scent and I either squirt it on the ball or take the roll on and rub it on depends on the the texture of the grass if it's wet i use the roll on if it's dry i use the drip um, this is a tennis ball launcher you know to keep my scent from my hands all over it. this also allows me to launch it farther if i want to skip it if i'm doing game wounded game tracking so i wanted to trail it I'll take this and I'll skip it across the ground, which I'll leave a scent. If I just wanted to find the air, find the antler and use the air to give it a scent, I'll whip it in the air so it goes somewhere so it's not that much scent laid out until where it bounces. So she has to use her nose to play the air to figure out how to get there. Um, here are the brown and white. I got two rubber dummer ant dummy antlers. No, these is not hurt. Started with these when she was a pup. This, as you can see, is pretty chewed up when I first got it. I let her get a hold of it without paying attention she chews up pretty good but it still works so these is these would never hurt her as a puppy we should go ahead and grab them and then um, here i have a real antler a real shed antler i just drill the hole through it put the rope on it that way also the handles keep you from getting a scent all over it. and also gives you a little handle so you can whip it out there get it out further no there's another rubber bumper or uh, uh not rubber um canvas bumper you know this one will do the hold and the fetch hold 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 release good good no no stay things like that again i already showed you we got the two different kind of antler sets it's also coming uh it's also one for blood trail he has another one for blood tracking i actually use real deer blood for that most of the time and i got a freezer full of that and then this is her training list. This is what I use for her corrections. You know, you can use them without the spikes. You can use them just as the, the chain. But I use this one to get her controlled on the leash. When she used to be on the leash, she used to run around. I want to be everywhere. When I take her off the leash, she stay right next to my heels the whole time. We walk through the woods and she was right there. But now we went home to visit one time. We went for a walk with her, her and the brother-in-law's dogs. And she was all over the place. I didn't have this, so I got this to correct her. When she go, she feel that the sharp points poke her in the neck, and she know not to do that. And a lot of people, you know, when I started off, I was using the e-collar, and I still got the e-collar. I put it on her just to use the beep sometimes so she knows where she's at and what's going to happen, or I know where she's at and what's going to happen if she doesn't come back. She knows after that beep, there's a vibration of beep, and then the shock. So I very rarely have the shocker anymore. 
but this is more just a quick pain thing it doesn't hurt that much it's they're not super sharp they're just points so once you pull they dig into her neck and she want to relieve that so they get her to pull back and i use this also for the heel work heel work heel so as we're walking and i got on the leash i always want her right here on my side i always want her right here you know and if she started to go out i give her a snap so she knows to come back or i say heel and she'll slow herself down and this is the leash you know attached to this attach the leash to the extension you know we walk till we get to where we go i come back she stays next to it. we're ready unhook i'll leave this part on so i can get control of it and send her off on the way and then i got my bag that i carry everything in in my bag i got a few extra tennis balls tennis balls are always great for dogs they like them in streets they like playing with them you know they're fun if i threw this right now she'll take off actually she won't take off because i won't let her and so i tell her to go she'll take off um but we're going to do some of that stuff here shortly then up here i have a couple more real shit antlers i go out there and hide in the woods no stay i hide them out there go out track or walk through the woods hide them i'll put one of these on a tree above it you know so i know where it is if we get out there it's later a few hours later whatever it is and she doesn't find it which she usually does i at least know where it's at so i can go back and get it or i know exactly where she's going to it i know she's about to find it soon and then also i don't believe in treat training but i use this bag of food no set set no stay stay i use this bag of food hey get away from she want to keep no get up here no sit sit stay so i use this bag of food to get her going with her scent her nose get her using her nose it's another thing we learned from jeremy moore off the, um this is shed training he had a patch of grass and the rest of it was cut around it and he took this little bag of food or a bowl of food and he sprinkled some in there sprinkled it out and he had the dog on the outside and he would tell her to go get it go find the bone and as she got near wherever the food was spread out in that big circle, he'll say, find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. And that will make her initiate that nose, get that nose working to find it. When she got outside the circle, I wouldn't say anything. So as we did that back and forth, we still do it from time to time. Just when I feel she's using her eyes instead of her nose, we'll go somewhere, find a patch of grass or a patch of thick weeds. And we'll do this drill still to get her nose working. As you see, I said find it and she already got her nose twitching now. She's looking for something. But today we're going to do a little bit of heel work and a little shed work. So stick with me as we get everything set up and you'll see where we go next. Yo, whoa, yo, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Sit. All right. So, I moved from the truck over to the grass. So I got a nice 70 yard patch here out to that target. And uh, if I go a little further, which I will today, it's probably like 80, 85. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back there, walk her in on the rope, showing the heel work the first time. Second time we'll go without the rope. But then the first time also, instead of using the real antler, like I said, we've been through this. We are a little further than this. But the first time I'm gonna use the rubber antler. The brown one, you know, just to get her initiated on the scent again. She will see it. And if she doesn't see it, she's going to smell it. So I'm going to take some of this antler scent and rub it on the outside. If I can get it off. Not much. Just a little bit, just so she can smell it. So again, I'm going to put this in the bag so she doesn't see it, so she isn't distracted. Get up on her. Attach my collar. Heel. 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 Then we get to walk. Nose up.
this training session is called a memory line. So you walk the line with your dog on a leash or without the leash. When you get to where you're going, you throw the bone and make sure the dog is paying attention to where you threw the bone so they can remember it. So they can trace that same line when we get back to the point. Now let her go. All right, look at it, see it. It actually wasn't a good toss. The toss fell just a little short, but it's all right. We're going to work with it. Heel. 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 I always want a little further back. I don't want her in front of me. I don't want her legs behind my legs. So we're walking together. But I don't want, especially no pull on the rope. As you can see, the, the rope is nice and loose. Turn here, sit, stay. And I got the whistle. When she finds, I'm going to blow the whistle so she knows she did good. And she knows exactly what to do. Go get the bone, girl. She's going to use her nose. She found it. She's in the bathroom right now. Uh-oh. Neighbor's dog went out there. Might be a problem. Bring me the bone, girl. Bring me the bone, Athena. Good girl. Good girl. Hold. Hold. Get the bone. Get the bone, girl. Hold, bring here, bring me the bone. Bring me the bone, hold, 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 nope, over here. Bring me the bone, hold. Release. Good girl, I think I give him praise. I know she did good, good girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl, Tina. Good girl. But how you say that's how that goes. And uh, since the neighbor got their dogs out as well, I ain't gonna do too many more of that out in the woods. So what we're gonna do instead, we're gonna switch over to the tennis ball. You know, I don't wanna keep taking her out to the woods and the dog, other dog go over there and distract her and she doesn't get it. So we're gonna do a sit. So we're gonna switch to the tennis ball. So I'm gonna go grab the thrower. When I come back, we're gonna go into this. Play fetch with this. Just gonna play fetch with the Thing. That's all. I'm just gonna sit here. Come, sit, sit, stay. And actually, I'm gonna cover her eyes so she don't see it. Take this bag off. Cover her eyes so she don't see where it goes. Sit. Take her collar off too, since we're not doing any walking out. Come, come, sit, sit. Find the bone, girl. Now she gotta use her nose because she didn't see exactly where it landed. She gotta play her nose, see where it went. Find it. Find it. Good girl. See, she's sitting there. Good girl. Good girl. Hold. Hold. Bring it here. Bring me the bone. Over here. Bring me the bone. Hold. Release. Good girl. Good girl. No. Come. Sit. Stay. But see how when she was out there, she was running around in the same area because she knew it was there. She smelt it. She just couldn't see it. Oh, that went to the same exact spot. That was unintentional. Come on, on girl. Find it. Go find the bone.
No, we're finding the bone. Go find the bone. Gee, what happens? Whenever she gotta use the bathroom, she'll be way off track until she finds her spot to go. Let's go, girl. Go get it. Go get the bone. Find it. Find it. Find it. Now the wind's blowing. Find it. Find it. Good girl. Bring me the bone, girl. Good girl. Bring me the bone. Bring it here, girl. Sit. Come. Bring here. Bring your bone. Bring me the bone. Hold. Hold. No. I also want to work on holding it all the way, not just in. Hold. 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 Release. Good girl. This one, I'm actually going to try to throw it over the tree so she don't see it and not cover her eyes. Find a bone, girl. Good girl. Bring me the bone, girl. Bring it here. Hold. Bring me the bone. Bring me the bone. No. Bring me the bone. Bring me the bone, Athena. Athena, bring me the bone. Bring me the bone. Over here. Bring me the bone. Bring it here. Hold. Bring it here. No. Here. Here, no matter how hyper she get, just can't let her get away with it. Gotta keep on. No, here, over here, girl. Here, right here. Good. Hold, hold, hold. Gonna work on this hold better. Hold, hold. Release. Good girl. And that's about as simple as it gets. I mean, take time. She isn't she doesn't make it simple. She's hyper. She's only 14, 15 months. She's still a puppy. But then the next year or the year after, she'll be dynamite. You know, she's a high high energy dog, chocolate labs, great family dog. As you said, I got CJ here. Her and CJ get along all day, hang out, play all day in the house. No problems. You know, the wife gets tired of that thing that's licking all over his hands and legs, and he takes his hands and put them in his mouth. So other than that, we have no complaints from my girl here. Um, like I said, we got her when she was eight weeks. We've been working on her constantly. Uh, supposed to be getting her certified for tracking here in the next couple of weeks, but hopefully with the virus, that doesn't get canceled. And, yeah, hopefully we get out. We get out again and find some more sheds. It's been busy lately. She found a total of five or six so far this year. So she's doing good. Now I just gotta get her to get further out away from me. We gotta get out and work some cat quartering and casting. Gotta find a nice field, a nice spot where I can work that. But other than that, I'm happy with our results thus far. And we just continue to work and we're gonna get better. And just stay on your dog. That's it. You gotta stay on a lot of people. Go, oh, it's okay, let them go do this. It's not. If you want to do something, you gotta stop them right there. You gotta get control of it. Stay on them, stay on them, stay on them. Can't let them go ahead and do something. And then like, all right, okay, never mind. Notice when she went past me, I wanted her to come back to me. So what did I say? Back, back. I didn't, nothing German more says, if you want your dog to come here and it runs that way, don't turn with it and let it come to you here. Come back this way. Here, come, here. Get them to come back to exactly where you want them to. And work that whole condition. You can check out some of his videos on YouTube. Check out his DVD. There's all kinds of videos out there for whole conditioning, force fetching in different ways. Uh, I try to do the whole condition to make her want to do it, not so much force her to do it. But 
Other than that, that's it for me and my girl Athena and my man CJ. This is going to be a little longer of a video, but it's kind of hard to do a short video on dog training. Try not to do it too much. Try to do it every other day. If you do do it every day, make sure you use praising it all the time, making it fun. Making it fun for her or him. And uh, don't do it too long. About 15 to 30 minutes a day is all you need. All right, guys. With that being said, we're going to sign out with love. Or, yeah, love, peace, Afro-Grease. Peace.